Hello, this is Hilary Weller. Welcome to Virtual Code Club. This video is about writing code to have a conversation with a sprite. Uh, please send an email if you need any help. Here is Scratch, the Scratch website, scratch.mit.edu. So to start off with, I'm going to sign in. I've already got an account. Uh, make an account if you haven't already got one. And I'm going to create a new project. Create. And before I even write any code, I'm going to save, I'm going to give it a name and save it. Scratch is going quite slowly today. So I'm going to, I'm going to have a conversation. So I'm going to call this uh, project Converse. Uh, I won't share it yet. Uh, because I haven't got, haven't written anything yet. Um, so to start off with, uh, we choose the when the flag is clicked, to, so that we can get the code to start. And we're going to, going to start off our conversation with, what is your name? So I think that's in sensing. There it is. Ask what is your name and wait. It's you. You could, you could change that to ask a different question. But we'll start off with what is, what is your name and wait. And now we're going to store the name of the person running the code in a variable. Um, so we're going to go to variables and create a create a variable, make a variable, and call it name. Uh, and it's I'm going to unclick there so that it's not the name isn't displayed there. Um, and then we're going to set name to be the answer. So that person answers the question and the variable called name is where the name is stored. So uh, that is in control. Our set name to the answer. And the answer is in sensing. So now uh, this variable called name is set to be the answer. Um, and now we'll say hello to the person whose name it is. So that's again, uh, uh, say is in looks. And we can say it for two seconds. Say it now. We want to say, no, we don't want to just say hello. We want to say hello to, the, to that person. Uh, so we need to join two things together. We need to join hello and their name. And join is in operators. Now we're going to join, we're not going to join apples and bananas, we're going to join hello space to the name. Now the name is a variable. And instead of saying hello here, we're going to say hello to the name. And the next thing we're going to do is ask the person how old they are. So now that's in sensing again. Ask uh, how old are you? And now we're going to remember, set, make another variable so we can remember their age. Age. Uh, and I will unclick that. And right now we're going to set the answer to be age. So set age to answer is a sensing thing. Set age to answer. Right, I think it's time to test that code. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure it's saved. Save now. That's, it's already got a name. Let's try running it. What's your name? My name is Hillary. Hello, Hillary. Uh, how old are you? Forty-eight. That's it. That's the answer. So now we're going to, talk, going to do something with that age. Now what I'm going to do is get the sprite to say either you're younger than me or you're older than me or we are the same age, um, depending on what the answer is. So there's a lot of different options. So we need an if, which is in control. So it's going to be if one thing, then another thing or another thing. So we're going to have an if 
then else statement. So first of all, if the age entered is younger than me, so if, uh, so I'm gonna, I'll put that 48, my age there. If a, I want to know if age is less than 48, so let's get back that variable. If you're younger than me, uh, say, so that's a, a look again. You are younger than me for two seconds. Else, well, either else. Okay, so let's, if it's else, we'll say you are not younger than me. Let's see what happens when we run that. Oh, make sure it's saved again. What's your name? Hill. Hello, Hill. How old are you? And that's how I'm going to lie. I'm going to say 45. See what it says. You're younger than me. I'll test it again. I'll pretend to be older. How old are you? Right, this time I'm going to be 77. You are not younger than me. Uh, that's a bit of an odd thing to say, really. You are not younger than me. You would either say you're older than me or you're the same age. And again, that's two, two more options. So instead of just one option here, we need two more. So we need another if else, which is in control. So let's have another if else. Uh, so if age is greater than 48, so we need another operator. If, I need to put the variable in there, age is greater than 48, I'm going to say you are older than me. Else, I will say you're the same age. You are the same age. And now I'll put that in there. Let's see what happens now. How old are you? Uh, I'm going to be the same age. See what it, see if it works. You're the same age. It does. Right. I need somebody else to try this out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share the project. So I click share. So uh, other people will be able to look at it and run the code and have a conversation. So I'll give some instructions. Uh, click on the green flag and answer the questions. Uh, I won't put any notes and credits here and um, I will add it to the studio, the Cavisham Primary School Code Club Studio. So uh, add to a studio, that one, yep. Um, and now other people will be able to find it. I, other people will be able to find it in the studio or they could use this address here to share it. Now, um, there's, you could have a go at making the same code, or having the same conversation, or have or make some or have a go at your own. There's some challenges on the website for you to have a go at.